Good morning, guys. So I'm taking you along on what I eat in a day. I just woke up a little while ago, so I'm going to be heading out to get my first meal of the day. I have a free Chipotle bowl, so we're definitely going to be taking advantage of that. I'm very excited to be doing this video, but just so you guys know, if food and um, just talking about this type of stuff is a sensitive topic for you, I highly recommend you just wait till I upload next time. I'm going to try and do three uploads a week, so we have plenty more content for you to catch up on. But I'm finding a place in my life where I can eat and just feel my body and feel free with it. So I'm very excited to be making this video with you guys today. I spent a lot of my life um, really ran by diet culture and calorie counting and things like that. So I'm very excited to just be able to be in the place I'm at now and to share that with you guys. So if you're interested in following along with me today and just spending the day with me, then just keep on watching. The first thing I really like to do when I wake up is get a glass of water. I've always had a really hard time with eating or doing anything right when I wake up, but I quickly learned that just because I trained myself to think if I just ate later in the day and spread it out my meals, it would mean, you know, less calorie intake and, you know, weight loss and all that stuff. When in reality, that kind of hurts your metabolism a lot more because your body's already gone so long while you're sleeping without food or even water. I mean, I know for me, I think I slept like 10 hours today, so it's definitely time for me to replenish my body. But I've noticed a lot better results with like my energy and getting my body to level back out with my hormone imbalances when I'm just being more mindful about replenishing my body as soon as I wake up. So I didn't take you guys into the um, store with me. I don't go through the line when I go to Chipotle. I place my order. It just gives me anxiety, to be quite honest with you, going through the line, and it's just so much faster. So I placed my order on Chipotle. I'm currently heading home, and I'll show you guys what I got, and we'll enjoy this meal together. We got the goods, of course. I am a big Chipotle fan. Obviously, I have to be mindful about how much money I'm spending in a week on Chipotle. But other than that, I am obsessed with it. It's just a really good way for me to get in my veggies also. I'm really bad about making sure I do that. I'm a big carb girl, which is nothing wrong with that, but with other bodily functions, you kind of need your greens. <laughs> so I was gonna Chipotle bowl, extra rice. I, like I said, carb girl, um, steak light on the hot red sauce, and then cheese and extra lettuce. I have to put you guys over there for a good angle, but we're gonna eat together. <laughs> Another thing I've had to be mindful of while being on my journey to be, have a better relationship with food is that it's okay when you get full to stop eating. I was really um, conditioned, so, like I had to always finish what was on my plate, whether I was like feeling like I was going to explode and just couldn't take in anymore at all or not. So I've been really working on, you know, being like, it's okay to just stop when you're full. That's like what eating, that's what those signals in your stomach are for. Tell you that you're full and it's good and your body is good. So I don't know why, like growing up, um, eventually after like I stopped doing the whole like calorie counting and really restrictive eating, that's like with myself type of thing. It became more of like a binging experience for me. And just at any point in time, any emotion that was wrong or when I was bored, we solved with food. So, and then I just taught myself to like ignore those little signals when I would get full because I think I'd have to keep eating or especially not even my husband. I mean, he's a grown man, so clearly there's going to be some differences, but I just thought like I had to eat as much as him or, you know, um, I almost made that like a a um, bonding moment which like I mean eating together can be like a good time to sit down and talk and everything it's not so much the like intake of the experience that's like the euphoric moment it's supposed to be more of just like the connection of like coming together at the end of the day or you know going on a date and just connecting and talking and everything and then whereas I would make it as like how much food I would eat type of thing I know that makes sense but I've been working on you know listening to my body signals rather than ignoring them and you know so yeah so 
I'm definitely gonna try to be aware of that one, eating my Chipotle, but when things are really good, it's a little bit harder, so yeah. But I will catch up with you guys in a little bit. Okay, so it's a little bit later in the day. It's currently like 5.30. Right now, I'm thinking about what I'm gonna be getting for dinner. I thought we were gonna probably do something as a family, but um, I'm gonna have to just get something for myself tonight again or make something, so I'm trying to figure out what I wanna do. I've just been drinking a lot of water since you guys last saw me and working. If you haven't seen my TikToks, I was recently on a TikTok like posting ban because they kept taking down my videos for my body confidence stuff and then they'd reinstate them because the violations that they hit me with were wrong. <laughs> So I finally got to post again. So you haven't seen those on my Instagram. You should go follow me there. I'm not a huge snacker. Um, I used to, like like I said before, I used to just eat when I was bored. So now that I've done more like intuitive eating, I realize I don't really snack at all. I just supplement that with drinking water instead. And it um, is also very good for you. I mean, I'm currently breaking out a little bit because my period is coming. So that's going to be a fun time. Probably I'm going to snack then, not going to lie. But I'm going to catch up with you guys in a little bit when I am going to go start dinner. This is dinner. First got hibachi. I mean, a lot of steak, but I picked out the onions and the mushrooms and like that. The zucchini, some rice, and then some steak. I don't normally double eat out, but felt like it tonight. I'm really in love with just this combination, so I can eat this. different because I am currently also recovering my relationship with food and I don't normally eat out two times in a day but that just ended up being what happened I didn't want to you know fabricate it some different type of way just you know make it look like I was cooking up in the kitchen every single day it's not really the case sometimes work gets a little too hectic and it's just easier and faster I know you understand but I've been a little bit uh, reserved about doing videos like this just because I don't ever want to tell you guys something or share something with you guys that I'm not generally living or, you know, I don't want to perpetuate any type of thing to you guys like, you know, I'm doing great and, you know, let's just eat all this stuff because I am trying to get better about, you know, binging and things like that like I used to do, but I wanted to make this video with you guys so you know that if you're also struggling with that, there is a way to get out of it. I was a very bad like emotional eater and things like that for many, many years of my life. And while I've been on this journey with you know recovering my hormones and things like that from my birth control experiences, I've had to really confront that issue as well because my body needs help in getting rebalanced, not me sabotaging myself and then getting upset when my body isn't doing okay. I wanted to make this video with you guys to kind of share that side of my life and obviously have this as, you know, something to look back on as I continue to progress for the better. But I really don't want to ever perpetuate you guys that, you know, um, you know, in this video with me not eating that much is just something that you have to do or whatever. It's just how my day went about. I never want to give you guys any reason to feel like, you know, how you're living is wrong or you know you're eating too much or whatever because personally I'm trying to get to where I do more but for right now these two good sized meals were what I could do and I'm very happy with that honestly and I feel good and I feel energized and I feel so much better than I did you know over the years of high school and even back in you know middle school when I wouldn't let myself be free and I wouldn't let myself enjoy you know just the time of nourishing myself. So that's mostly what this video was about. I've seen a lot of things on TikTok recently about, 
you know, when we eat, people comparing like bloating and people comparing just like regular bodily changes. Some people use it for the wrong scenario and like, you know, my body doesn't change that much after food or, you know, using it to kind of relate to other people. And I've seen more of the opposite side and I really want to touch on the fact that, you know, normal bodily changes like bloating or weight gain or weight loss, especially as you're growing up, but throughout all of life, we're going to have times where things fluctuate, things change, and it is never a sign of your worth being less than or more. It is something so normal. And I wanted to say something about that in my last video. I was talking about, you know, where I'm at with um, my weight gain from my hormonal deficiencies and everything like that, that just because your body changes, whether it's from something what happened to me or just throughout regular life, it is not a sign that, you know, you're not as beautiful as you were before or that you were even more beautiful then than you are now. And it's just, it's no, so not true. I don't know if you guys saw on Instagram the whole thing with Khloe Kardashian's Instagram picture and it get taken down because of like how she, uh, it was unedited and things like that. I don't know the whole story. This is just what I've seen from other body positive creators talking about it and I also never want to perpetuate anything into society's beauty standard of you know you need to always be on a calorie deficit or you always need to be thinking about weight loss or you always need to be you know moving towards some type of goal of a smaller you because you are perfect just the way you are and it is not none of that stuff equates to your beauty your worth how much you're loved how much you're wanted none of that stuff you have to find that in other things and basing it off of stuff like that and your looks and how people perceive your body and everything that is never going to make you feel whole. It's not going to make you feel the way you want it to feel because the world is never going to be happy. Unfortunately, there's always going to be something, especially in the world of like social media and the internet in general. There's never going to be something where we can hit perfection we can hit that standard it's just not going to happen and it's not real and it's not something we should strive for we should strive for love in ourselves and the love and spreading that love and kindness and acceptance to other people because we're all going through the same thing especially as a woman of wanting to hit that standard but it's just never going to happen and i really want to encourage you guys today if that's something you're going through as i have all my life to start looking inward for that love and that acceptance and if you have a partner that doesn't see that and they also feed in to, you know, what society says we should look like or, you know, the hot girl summer thing and all that stuff. It's so unnecessary. You should get rid of them because there's someone who's going to think that you are perfect the way you are, whether you're at this size or this size or this stage in your life or whether you're pregnant or you're not pregnant or you have a mom bod or you don't have a mom bod. Like, on, you know what I'm saying? It's so ridiculous to spend time wanting to be at that standard. And that's something I wish... Someone would have told me when I was younger, of course, I never really shared that I was struggling with things like that. And I wanted to reach out and let you guys know that if that's also something you're going through and you don't normally share it with friends or other people. Because I definitely know a way that I cope with like my problems is I'll make jokes about it. So a lot of time my friends can't even pick up on something I'm really struggling with either. But I'd let you guys know today that you are enough and you're always going to be enough and you have to pull that from within for it to stick and for it to mean something and if you're a believer as I am then also you have to pull it from who God says your identity is and he says you are perfect he says you're loved he says you're beautiful and so what else could we hope for it's all a process we're all on a journey and I just wanted you to know that I'm here with you and I love you so much I hope you enjoyed this video sorry it's a little different than your normal what I eat in a days but I just wanted to spend this time you know really opening up with you guys and you know like I said we're on this journey together so I love you very much if you don't follow my social medias they're all Malia Witten I do a lot of body positive content and here and on TikTok and YouTube or Instagram sorry so you don't follow me there please do so I love you very much I can't wait to see you again on Friday I'm going to try to post every Monday Wednesday Friday but Monday and Friday are definitely my posting days to so turn on post notifications or while you're at it go ahead and subscribe to join our little family and really be on this journey with me I love you more than anything in the whole world and thank you so much for all your support I would not be where I'm at today without you guys and without TikTok and all the support you've shown me there so I'm very grateful and I the least I can do is give back some positive energy and support you guys too because I know it shouldn't be such a universal experience but unfortunately mending body image especially for us girls like I said before is just something 
that we all unfortunately go through with society. So I have your back and you're so beautiful and wanted and loved and I'll see you next time. Bye.